that was Friday. Whether your Friday actually falls on a Friday or your Friday is another day of the week, I think we all like knowing that the next day you might not have to wake up at the crack of dawn and that's pretty freaking sweet. B, I did a hair mask yesterday so today my hair feels super duper soft and shiny and clean and healthy and it's awesome. If you're interested in doing a hair mask, I literally just use coconut oil, a ton of conditioner, and this like cholesterol stuff from Queen Helene that adds strength and vitality and shininess to your hair and I mix it all up and put it in my hair and leave it in for a couple hours and it's awesome. C, I woke up this morning and I'm officially down 1.4 pounds from when we started our kind of like weird health kick. So that's pretty cool. And finally, we're kind of planning a last minute trip that we will be doing tomorrow. This, by the way, is what is going on in Death Valley at the moment. Death Valley's harsh desert blanketed with wildflower super bloom. Death Valley, California, one of the hottest places in the world, is in bloom with more than 20 species of colorful desert wildflowers. In a statement, the National Park Service says that after unusually strong storms and flash floods last October, the current flower display is the best the park has experienced in a decade. Some visitors are calling it a super bloom. This is what we're hoping to go experience this weekend. This is what it normally looks like. <laughs> Beyond all your expectations, uh, th those are quite rare, maybe once a decade or so. So like this National Park guy said, the super blooms, as they call them, that happen at Death Valley only happen once every 10 years or so. They typically happen after the fall or winter has been extremely wet, which usually happens during El Nino, which is what we're currently experiencing here. On average, Death Valley only gets about two inches of rain per year. But this past October, particularly on October 18th, side note, that's my birthday, Death Valley received something like 2.7 inches in one day. So on October 18th, this past year they went above their annual average rainfall in one day which is pretty ridiculous. Wildflowers do bloom in Death Valley seasonally but to this extent it happens extremely rarely. So we're thinking tomorrow we're gonna go check it out before the bloom is completely gone. Where are we puppy? The best place on earth. The best place in the entire world. We are just pulling into the dog park and we have a very excited puppy. So many smells. Noelle, you're a funny looking dog. Did you know that? She's like she... front heavy. I know. Well, that's why she like falls on her face all the time too. Noelle, there's like nobody here. There's two other dogs. We gotta pee all the places first. Noelle, why do you do that? It's you. Look at that strong stance. You strong dog. Go see hi. Go see hi. She's like, ah. <laughs> I don't know. Did you do your first poop? Up. Yeah. Dog poop. Oh, oh, play, hi, puppy. play, play, play. Does it smell like dog butt? I bet you it smells like dog butt. <laughs> That's a super cool car. We just got out of Red Robin. We had some dinner. We thought it would be nice to go out and eat out tonight. How do you think it was? Good. Yeah. It was good. Normally we would order a burger with some fries, but today we ordered burgers without the bun and without a lot of the fixings, and then with side salads instead of the fries. It was very, mm. very I'm, healthy. I'm, I'm full, but I'm not like, uh, Like over sleep. full, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I do, their fries are super good. I know. Especially <laughs> with all their sauces that they have. I know. Let's go to the store and we can get raspberries. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go left. Yeah, I'll try again. Uh, I think I have to go right. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's okay. I don't think you can do a Yui at that light. Well. I think it says no Yui. What's stopping me? Um, the f terrible turning radius on this car. Yeah, that is kind of a hindrance sometimes. <laughs> oh, actually, it, yeah. I think you can do it, Yui. The sign says you can. So now we're gonna head home. No, we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna get some berries, and we have some cream at home. Oh, so, so, what? No truck. Oh, that's cool. Wow. wow. I don't like the rims on it, but I think it's cool. It's cool. I the older cars it. are cool. I can agree. Yeah. There was a dude I preached yesterday. Yeah. Who had a '66 or something like Mustang and a coupe. Really? Yeah, it was Wimbledon, Wimbledon white with their, their blue. Did you say uh, Wimbledon? Their, Wimbledon, that's the name of the white. Do you mean Wimbledon? Wimbledon. With a D? I don't know. Wimbledon, yeah, Wimbledon, whatever. <laughs> it's Wimbledon. 
Yeah, Wimbledon. Somehow. Well, like, that's the big uh, tennis match, is Wimbledon, mm. in, in the UK, and I'm pretty sure it's with a D and not with a T. <laughs> well, sorry if I offended you. <laughs> w- Wimbledon white, whatever it is. Okay. With two blue racing stripes. Oh, that's cool. It. Yeah, I, g- I gave him a big thumbs up and everything. He was nice looking. That's cool. Super clean, too. I bet you he appreciated the thumbs up, I too. I bet he did. So hopefully he gives it to me as well. <laughs> I feel like we're going to have to upgrade this vlogging camera here pretty soon because I have been noticing that the focusing has been kind of shoddy lately. Yeah, kind of... Goes in and out. Things, yeah. In my opinion, you are not as strong in focus as you should be at the moment, but I don't know if that's because of, it's getting dark. Theoretically, it shouldn't matter I because... Focus. Shh! I am talking! Oh my gosh! Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I just feel like we're gonna have to upgrade this vlogging camera here pretty soon because it's getting... The, the focusing on it is not bueno. Yeah. So, which is not super fun because this baby was not very cheap when we got it, but at the same time we've been using it pretty consistently for like three years, so... Oh, that sucks. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Spaghetti-o! What were we saying? Oh yeah, we're gonna go get some frozen raspberries and we'll show you our dessert when we get home. Mm-hmm. Sound good? Dates! Dates! Also, we're gonna go to Death Valley tomorrow! <gasps> Yes. We should maybe get some stuff at the store that we can take with us, possibly, like for yeah. snacks. Look at all of these different kinds of almonds we got, guys. Look, look, hold this, hold this. I want to show them. Look, I, look. So we, we're getting, what is this? Habanero barbecue, salted caramel, honey roasted cinnamon, toasted coconut, and sea salt and vinegar, which is Blake's favorite thing in the world. So it's gonna be pretty good. We love getting all these different flavor almonds. So it should be. Good. Don't look at. Don't look at the Oreos. Don't no, look. But, no, but I'm no, trying to. Going. No, no, stop. What? I'm, stop, I'm trying to see if they have like sugar free. No, it's not gonna be good. It's not. It's not. It. No, because it's just gonna make you poop forever. That's okay. <laughs> this is our super tasty dessert tonight: raspberries and cream, which should be a. Uh, Amazing. We're probably gonna watch some sort of movie. I don't really know what, but it's Friday night, so I thought it would be kind of nice to snuggle on in for the night and just take it easy and... Take it easy. What? Do it, take it easy! <laughs> what are you doing, kitty? She was just sitting on her butt like a... Oh my god, like a dog. <gasps> kitty, are you turning into Noelle? We decided instead of a movie, we're watching a documentary on... Best Korea. What? Best Korea. Best Korea. North Korea. That's what I said. Best Korea. Should be pretty interesting. It's called what? The Propaganda Game? Mm. So maybe we'll learn a little bit about North Korea. So I'm just editing the vlog right now. We finished watching the North Korean documentary. It was pretty interesting. This is where our spare bed was when we when Blake's dad was in town and we've been too lazy to actually bring it downstairs so we just kind of plopped it up against the wall. We literally were just like, eh, push it and lean it up against the wall. And the cat's new favorite spot is to sit right on top of the mattress. So Blake got a laser pointer to see what she would do. Here she comes. Oh no! Okay, she's up. No, no, do it in the box here. She's like, I don't know how to get that actually. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna get it. (laughs) She's she's trying to figure it out. She looks so defeated. She's like, I don't know how to get it anymore. I'm not stupid enough to jump into there. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is so funny. So we're gonna end today's vlog. Mars Elfie said, "Aw, did I miss the question of the day? Nah, I'm just a doofus and totally forgot to include one in the last vlog. So instead, 
we're gonna include one right now. We are going to Death Valley tomorrow. Totally spur of the moment. No plans to go at all until I heard about the, the blooming flowers. And so now I'm like, okay, we're just gonna go tomorrow. Why not? So I'm curious, what are the most fun things you have done totally spur of the moment, like out of nowhere? Oh, remember when we first started dating and we went to Portland on New mm -hmm. Year's Day? That was a lot of fun. That was so long ago too. We had just started dating. We were staying at a friend's house. We stayed the night over because it was New Year's and we didn't really want to like go anywhere. <laughs> we were watching like movies up in the loft, right? Yeah, didn't we watch like Par paranormal activity or something like something that. Like that. I, I don't was even... super scared. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even remember what the situation was, but there was like a there was there must have been like like eight of us maybe up in the loft and we all just decided to crash there and so we slept. And the next morning, it was New Year's Day. And we were like, huh, let's go to Portland, <laughs> like that day. Yeah. So we drove all the way down from Seattle to Portland, which really isn't that far. It's what, like three hours? And that was the very beginning of me and Blake's relationship. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. That was like right along the right timeline to be the very beginning. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So that was another one of the really fun things that we did totally spur of the moment. So what are the coolest things or most fun things that you have ever done on spur of the moment? All right, so we are going to skedaddle. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we put out videos. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So stay tuned from the Monday vlog where we're we're gonna show you all kinds of cool stuff that we find at Death Valley. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you on Monday. Bye! Okay, creatures. <laughs>